life. Are you getting what I'm saying? And let me also tell you this. Your business is part of your history. Amen? Amen. How? When you're employing people, when you're employing people, of course, whenever you, you employ someone, you hire someone, you are feeding not just that person, but the family. You are taking care of the family. Business. Okay? And then, in, in, with respect to corporate organizations, what we call corporate social what? Responsibility. CSR. Even church, they do CSR now. So your business is also a form of your ministry. All right? So that's why when they were reshuffling departments in the church, I had to look for, say, okay, since I'm into this kind of thing already, I think I can help this one. And God has been helping us. God has helped us so far. We've empowered small businesses. We, we give them funds. We monitor, we train, we coach, we evaluate, and then we assess growth. So your business is your ministry. Add it to what you have learned in the course of this training. If, if God, you can use your business and win souls. Are you aware of that? Hello? Yes. Are you aware you can win souls through the business you are doing? Huh? So, <laughs> your personal business is part of the kingdom business. Uh, we've had cases where, in the course of our training, we have to bring our Bible. To encourage participants, bring your Bible. So that's what we do. <laughs> My brother is laughing, you know, but uh, as you do, you open your Bible. You open the scriptures. Do you understand? In fact, in, in my office, I, I, have Bible, I have tracks. So that after we finish talking this one, we chip in the gospel. One way or the other. So you need to be seeing this. So your planning it must continue to run. Do you get that? The planning, the continued planning will help you to be able to sieve out some unnecessary things from the business and weave in some important things into the business with respect to time. Remember, we agreed yesterday that everything is subject to change. The philosopher, um, what was his name, Heraclitus or so, he said that everything is in a perpetual flux. Everything is continuously what? Changing. So as, as these evolutions continue to happen, your business needs to also be, you know, going um, you need to follow it back. Yes. So you, you need to have to answer these relevant questions in the course of planning for your business. What exactly do I want to achieve? Thank God they've been taking you through problem statement. Huh? You've been going through that. I think they started um, before the training uh, began. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm sure we've made progress with that. So what exactly do you want to achieve? That's where it starts from. What is your goal? What are your objectives? Then how will I know when I have been what? Successful. You need to put in place mechanisms to be able to assess yourself. The lizard fell from a tree. Look left. Look right. See, if nobody applauds me, I will applaud myself. I don't try. You know easy. So, but you're not a lizard. You're a human being. You're a business person. So, you need to have things in place to help you to evaluate do you get that now at the end of a stated period of time you can do yours monthly you can do quarterly you can do annually you evaluate how far have i come and you know you can't do you, you can't do effective evaluation without documentations without re proper record keeping it is the books that will help you to know that's why they say um what now the fentest ink is what is better than the sharpest brain or you know, memory. So everything has to be recorded so that in the course you have it. So in your planning, you have to provide ways of evaluating. Is this possible? Is this doable? Remember, I had to start by gingering you from the beginning that you can do it. Hmm? There's no running back. Is this realistic? Take note that it can be possible, but not what? Not what? Realistic. My brother Ernest mentioned some things about dreams. I think one of the is it the bright um, the bright ideas? Huh? Yes. Uh -huh. That has something about the difference between reality and dream. A popular writer said that dreams can make one a king, dreams can also make one a fool. 
most people, it's, it's natural to dream, okay? It's very natural. 